how are you today, friends? I hope you're having a wonderful day so far. Ma, the population is just a little over 3,000 people. So it's like, you know, it's a small town where everyone seems to just know everyone, or at least if you don't know them, it's like a familiar face, you know? I know that face. And my nose itches not doing drugs. Right now for my murder mystery and makeup friends, you can get a special discount on your purchase if you go to, did you see, you, you? For my murder mystery and makeup friends. Hey sweetie, your friend is actually dead. Yeah, dead. So hey, I give her prop. <sighs> Me hoot, it hurts, sunny boy. Me hoot? I didn't know this was gonna turn into an audio book. I'm so sorry. I wonder if he's writing like this on purpose to throw them off or if this is really how he wrote. You know, I didn't look that up. I want to make love to the world. Okay. It needs more light. Okay. Oh, young adults would go there, hang out, probably smoke, hail Satan, whatever, whatever you do as young adults. So Sarah's second husband, his name was William. He also went along with it and was like, yeah, my wife is definitely a witch. What a douche. Lisa and Andy, they're getting ready to go to bed. Go Mimi's. Andy, as soon as he laid down, he knocked out, sleeping like a baby because that's what guys do best. They literally go to bed. They lay down and they go to bed. They fall asleep in seconds. What is that like? You, they just go to bed. Oh, it's wild. Anyways, not the points. Hold on, let me, am I bold? Oh, I'm having deja vu. Mm, okay. You'll see, you'll see, calm, calm your tits. That's when they realized that these were not red lights at all. Nay, nay. These red lights seem to be a pair of glowing red eyes. But the worst of all, there was a large dark figure becoming more clear to them. Yeah, this is wild. It sounds like they needed more hobbies, honestly. Like they were just like, oh, you have a mole? Witch. That was that. She's hallucinating and be gone. The killer is in the house. It's the F inside the house of her friends. She runs there. I don't know what any of us would do in that situation. I'd probably pee my pants, then throw my baby at the creature and run, you know? Like, scary It's probably why I shouldn't have children. Anyways, it was like, what, how? Breathe. Even her damn husband, what a loser. Like, I'd be like, really, babe? Really, you think I'm a witch? Is that how you really feel, babe? Babe! Mr. Gordy protecting Heidi from whatever this dark thing was. The last entity would go from the living room to the parents' bedroom and above the bed. The family asked the psychic, why? How, when, what, what, huh, huh? And that's when the psychic told the family that they had a portal in their home that was open and allowing these entities to come through. A portal, if you don't know, is like a doorway from the spiritual world to our world. How do you think I got here, bitch? Christine's driving, because that's how you drive, is like the worst thing possible. Crazy. I'm not crazy. I'm so excited on a journey. Which sounds kind of fun. Like you could just go through this door and be like, oh my God, grandpa. But it's not like that because you never know what kind of spirit you're going to get. And most of the time, a demonic entity will find its way through right into your home. Oh my God, me. Yeah, okay, look. Get it? Cause I'm a, I'm a, I'm a devil. And I'm in your home. Oh, creepy. Yeah. Calm your tits, it's just a bird. They see her, she's upside down by her feet. If I walked into my child, first of all, why do I have a child? But if I did, and my child was doing that, I would be like, mm, nope, gonna leave now. Cut him off, went around him, and started going slower than him, which, Side note, don't do that. Don't cut people off and then go like the speed limit. If you're gonna cut me off, floor it, okay? I can't stand that shit. Anyways, visions happening. Visions into the future. We're gonna try our best and ignore this nest on my head. Um. <laughs> this is so fun. I need a pointer in my videos. I'm having a blast. Do you believe in ghosts? I think so. I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day. You make good choices. Please be safe out there. And I'll be seeing you guys later. Bye. Ah, 
I have so much makeup in my hair. Hey.